impunity has no place in our societies, whether you're head of state or not. We want answers, and we want justice, and we will not give up until those who are responsible are held accountable. For 22 years, Yaya Jame was the president of Gambia. His rule was marked by the torture and killing of dissenters, the arrest of journalists, uh, sexual violence, uh, massive corruption. Now, details of the Jame government's crimes are coming out. Good morning, everyone. I call to order the first public meeting of the TRRC. This is an investigation into the mass atrocities that occurred in this country between 1994 and 2017. The testimonies that are coming out now before the TRRC, the Truth Commission, are revealing a level of cruelty and pervasive criminality that I think is surprising most everyone. Everybody is glued to their TVs, their phones, on Facebook, just to hear from people who had killed people, from people who had tortured people. Yeah, Jami told you what? He told me clearly, we have to execute the ringleaders. And that is what you did? Exactly. Yeah, yeah Jami said, Let's kill these people and cut their uh, flesh into pieces. Cut them up into cut pieces. Cut them up into pieces. Like they would do meat. The Gambia was a place where a dictator was operating undercover. Some people liked Gambia, loved him, and didn't believe what people were telling them. My dad went missing when I was just 14 years old. He broke my family into pieces and then he broke so many families into pieces. Sometimes I find it so hard to understand these things. We have also seen a lot of non-Gambians being killed in Gambia, being imprisoned. We have seen the Ghana 44 and all other people who were massacred in Gambia for nothing. Solo said these people are mercenaries. The order from the head of state, the former president, Yaya Jame, is to they are all to be, they are all to be executed. There was a whole system for him to exploit, for him to rape. He said, let's see if you are a virgin. And um, I swear to God, I was scared. A month after losing elections in December 2016, he fled the country and sought exile in Equatorial Guinea. For the victims uh, to see videos of him dancing with his host instead of answering their charges in a court of law is very painful. I just have one wish. I wish I will have the opportunity to face Yaya himself and then ask him why he had to kill my dad. The least that a victim needs is the truth. So the testimonies and the stories of these people makes people know who Jame really was. Justice for all of those people means Jame would pay for everything that he had done. <laughs>